This video is sponsored by PoTownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Looking for that last card to complete your online deck or just to get the latest booster packs in town, they literally have everything, even the Fusion Strike stuff. So be sure to head over to the website PoTownStore.com and use that coupon code ZABDOISTCG for 5% off. Also, head over to cardsmarket.com. If you're a European player, this website is fantastic. You can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. And I personally use it every single day to get rid of cards that I don't need to buy new ones. Use the referral name ZABLUSTCG and you're helping out the channel tremendously. Last but certainly not least is uh, yourplaymat.com. This website is fantastic when you create your own unique custom playmat. They ship worldwide. And uh, of course, right now you can get 10% off by clicking the link down below. So start creating your own unique custom playmat for the new season. So thanks for sticking with the commercials let's get this video on a roll peace What's up, YouTube? It's Zabbix TCG here, and welcome back to our TCG deck profile video on my channel. We're still exploring some new decks from Brilliant Stars or updated lists from back in the day. So, uh, we actually have a great update for Salazzle Butterfree. If you guys are looking for a budget deck, this is the deck for you. So, uh, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You're gonna get daily Pokemon TCG content over here. And whether we're talking about tier one broken archetypes or budget decks, you can have it all on this channel. We've talked about Rapid Strike Malamar before, and that being very good. But Salazzle also gets a buff from Brilliant Brilliant Stars. Brilliant Stars comes out on the uh, 25th of February, which is only uh, three weeks away, and uh, the pre-releases will actually uh, start very shortly, which is very, very nice to see. Which cards are new for Salazzle? Well, uh, first of all, we have Choice Band, uh, actually Choice Belt, I would say, uh, slapping 30 more damage to the opponent's active V Pokémon. Very impactful because now Salazzle is able to slap 300 damage with its attack. So uh, you of course have its second attack for a, yeah, a double Carless energy. On top of that, we're having double turbo energy in the format as well. So no longer do we need to rely on stuff like Raihan or basic energies or just have capture energy and they gust you up and it's, it's horrible, right? So now we have seven energies to utilize its attack. Even though double turbo energy uh, reduces your damage output by 20, the choice belt can neglect that effect. And uh, the cool thing is if you have twin energy and choice belt, you're actually going to be one hit KOing almost all VMAX Pokemon in existence except for uh, Eternus VMAX because that's a little bit too much. On the other hand, if it stays in the active position, it gets knocked out by special conditions. So what is this deck all about? It's all about the Butterfree, which you can easily get out instantly. You can uh, slap down your Caterpie, you can instantly evolve it into the Metapod. They both have an ability which allows them to evolve instantly. And then you can even evolve into Butterfree instantly. So you don't no, no longer have to wait like one turn to evolve your Caterpie or one turn to evolve your Metapod. You can evolve instantly. So uh, in theory, let's say you um, go second, you can go for research, you can instantly get a Butterfree out already. Although I do not recommend that. I, I recommend saving them in hand until you're ready to attack, right? So we have two Snorlax. These are going to be our main Pokemon in the active slot because on turn one, we cannot attack, right? All of our Pokemon need to evolve. You can, of course, make the opponent confuse, burn, and poison with the ability of Butterfree. But uh, the problem with that is that you're going to be wasting a Butterfree with that. Unless you have like a lot of scoop-up nets in your hand, you might do that to just uh, soften up some damage on the opponent's Pokemon. That could be uh, the thing, but the thing I would recommend is going for Snorlax with Gormandise first. So uh, the thing you want to be doing here is get out Salandit, get out, yeah, babe, probably two Salandit is going to be the best thing. We also have Manaphy to protect your bench now, so this deck got a huge update. Double Turbo Energy, Ultra Ball, Choice Belt, Manaphy, Cynthia's uh, <laughs> yeah, Aspiration. There's so many great things for this list. And we're just going to be talking about the Pokemon first. So right, we have the 4-4 line of Salazzle. Salazzle with the roasting reveal or a roasting attack. It's second attack, let's just uh, be calling it that. Slaps 90 damage for every special condition that the opponent is affected by. This could add up to 270 damage with the help of Butterfree because if you evolve into Butterfree, you can actually leave the opponent burned, poisoned and confused. Very awesome because poison and burn rack up damage between turns. So uh, let's say you slap 270 then the, the in-between turn phase, the checkup phase, actually allows you to slap 30 more damage because of burn and poison, which adds up to 300. Add a choice belt into the mix, bam, 330 damage you'll be afflicting onto the opponent's Pokemon. Why are there fan of waves in this list? Glad you asked. You need fan of waves for fusion energies. The fusion energies allow them to be immune from ability effects, so that means... If Mew has, of course, uh, a fusion energy, you can no longer utilize uh, the uh, effect of the Butterfree onto it, which is super sad to see. You can still gust up with Bossasaurus and knock out another Pokemon on the bench, 
But the problem with this is that you won't be able to affect Pokemon with Fusion Energy. Two Fan of Waves are mandatory in a list like this. So don't forget them to slide them in. Sometimes the opponent only has a basic Psychic Energy and a Fusion Energy. You can use the, uh, of course, Fan of Waves to get rid of the Fusion Energy. Use the Butterfree, make it Poison, Burn and Confuse. Equip that Choice Belt and boom, one-head KO, Mew Max. That's why the Fan of Waves are in there. Manaphy is also part of the deck uh, as of late because Manaphy protects our bench. In the past, we had a terrible matchup against Jolteon. We had a terrible matchup against uh, yeah, Rapid Strike, Urshifu Max. Basically, anything that uh, yeah, attacks the bench. Now, with Manaphy, it is going to be fantastic. We also run two copies of Rescue Carrier, so you can easily get your uh, Manaphy back. Uh, so, it's very good in this list. You, if you run Manaphy, you definitely need some ways to recover it. Otherwise, it's <laughs> not even necessary to just play Manaphy because you're going to be losing... Uh, against Jolteon anyhow because they just gust up your mana fee. So I recommend two rescue carriers to get back your Pokemon. And the cool thing is that Salazzle has 90 HP. So with rescue carrier, you can get back Salandit, Caterpie, Metapod, Salazzle, and mana fee. So you have quite the range of Pokemon you can get back from the discard pal. And that's we're also uh, that's the reason why we're also playing four copies of research. Sometimes you do get rid of your uh, double turbo energy. So that's a little bit of a shame, but you don't always have to go for research. Sometimes you can just promote Snorlax and go for Gormand and Dice instead of relying on your supporter and then maybe you get Marnie. Uh, that's why there's also two copies of Bruno in here because that allows you to shuffle. Sometimes you don't want to be discarding. And on top of that, we have like the four research, two Bruno. So if you get knocked out, you can shuffle your hand to your deck, draw seven. If uh, no nobody got knocked out, you can actually just shuffle your hand to your deck, draw four. And the cool thing is with Bruno, you can also uh, utilize the Bruno uh, if there's a Tower of Darkness in play. So very, very nice to see. Although against uh, stuff like the uh, from mentioned single strike decks, you might have the advantage because you can just one hit KO their V Pokemon or their V Maxes with Salazzle. Uh, two bosses or very nice to just uh, finish off on Pokemon or uh, just gust something with a V Max. You just <laughs> can KO anything, uh, one hit KO anything you want. There's also Cynthia's Aspiration, which is very cool. You can draw cards until you have five in hand. But if a Pokemon got knocked out during the opponent's last turn, you can utilize the support to draw cards until you have 8 in the hand. So I love the split between 2 Bruno and 2 Cynthia's Aspiration. It works out very well in this list. And uh, you're gonna be, there's gonna always be Pokemon getting knocked out because they will need to take 6 prize cards. And with Manaphy thrown into the mix, they will need to attack 6 times which is too much to handle. You might be saying like, oh, what about quick shooting? Well, because we have scoop up net, you don't have to be worried about the scoop, uh, yeah, the uh, quick shooting all too much. Then we have four quick ball, four level ball, two ultra ball. Why not more ultra ball uh, to free up some space to just draw more cards with uh, the Snorlax? The cool thing is that level ball gets yourself the Salazzle, Salandit, Matapod, Manaphy, <laughs> and uh, the Caterpie as well. So the same uh, spectrum as the uh, Rescue Carrier, but from the deck, which is very good. So level ball can uh, get, definitely get you started. Quick ball as well. So on top of this, you have quick ball, ultra ball, and level ball. If you have like a couple of them in hand, you're going to be able to set up Salazzle, Salazzle, uh, Snorlax, uh, attach retreat, or just go scoop up net. Go Go for the Snorlax Gorman dice and you're going to be good to go. So uh, what else can we see here? Uh, we have, of course, the scoop up net. Not only can you get Snorlax out of the active position, you can reuse the effect of the Butterfree. So as mentioned, Caterpie can instantly evolve into Metapod, can instantly evolve into Butterfree, and then the opponent is burned, poisoned, and confused. You can scoop up the entire Butterfree engine and do it again next turn. So it's going to be great having scoop up nets by your side and helps out against quick shooting uh, yeah, in the mix, uh, which is very cool. Uh, why not more for, uh, more Ultra Balls, as I already uh, mentioned. Lava Ball gets almost all, uh, all Pokemon out of the deck already. Uh, and we do have Turfield Stadium to find the Butterfree. So the only thing Ultra Ball is good for is uh, extra search engines uh, during the early phases of the game, right? And it also searches out uh, whatever you need at a specific point. Definitely uh, nice to just scout out for uh, more outs to Manaphy if you're up against a spread deck. The tree choice belt, uh, you can lower that down to two, but I'm a big fan of tree copies because it also helps out with different numbers, right? Roasting uh, the attack of uh, Salazzle. I'm actually going to be looking out <laughs> what the attack of Salazzle actually is so uh, so I can uh, pronounce it correctly. Battle Styles Salazzle. It is uh, also an uncommon if I'm not mistaken here. So uh, let's see here. The Battle Styles Salazzle. It is uh, the rice of roasting, yeah. And it is a rare, which is a, I thought it was an uncommon, but it doesn't matter. It is a very cheap card. It's a budget deck. You don't need fancy V Maxes or V Pokemon or very insane uh, expensive cards. It's just gonna be Salazzle Butterfree, winning yourself a lot of games. So the weaknesses with Salazzle Butterfree is of course the fusion energy, but the, the Fan of Waves also helps out against a whole heap of other archetypes. So uh, don't sleep on Fan of Waves. It, I think it's still a strong card. And as mentioned, the Rise of Roasting slaps 90 damage for every special condition at affecting the opponent's Pokemon. So 
that is going to be helping out with choice belt you always need choice belt to one hit ko v maxes and that's why there's three copies of that and here typically you just get out two attacks onto two v maxes and you win the game and that's going to be nice. They're probably going to be attacking with the basic V Pokemon, which is <laughs> then you don't need your choice bat at all. But it's cool. You can, you can slip down on your uh, Salazos and then you can draw cards with the, the Snorlax. So you can instant play these uh, tool cards. So don't worry about playing three copies. And then, as mentioned, the Turfield Stadium, find yourself Metapod as well as Butterfree. There is uh, four Twin Energies and uh, three Double Turbo Energies. The Double Turbo Energy, that's why the Choice Belt is going to be helpful here. Let's say you have a Double Turbo Energy onto your uh, Salazzle here. Then your damage output gets reduced and with Choice Belt, it gets increased again. So let me just state this. If you have the Double Turbo Energy onto yourself, you're going to be with Butterfree slapping 270 then burn and confusion and all that good stuff so you're adding up to 300 minus 20 because of double turbo energy is uh, 200 280 and then with choice belt adding it up back again to 310 which is the number for mu v max and mu v max is the best deck in the format still so that's why three choice belts are a must and uh, it's gonna be this deck so hopefully you guys enjoyed another deck profile on the channel we've talked about mad party we've talked about malamar so many one prize decks will be better with brilliant stars and i simply love it i just love playing with one prize decks and uh, let me know if this uh, deck is uh, something you uh, might be interested in be sure to check it out try it out for yourself take it out for a spin it's very strong if you can get the combo off and uh, i definitely recommend everybody trying this out yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button. Let me know in the comments what you want to be seeing up next. I'm still working on uh, some sort of a token kiss list. I have them in hand here. I'm uh, just working on something. It's not quite ready. And uh, I think we will be surprised of how good token kiss VMAX will be. Uh, definitely with the fact you can have that chair and scare. So that's a deck profile coming up very shortly. But for now, Butterfree Salazzle, I just love the deck. Uh, go check out our sponsors as well. You can check out potownstore.com, the best place for TCGO code cards. You can use that coupon code ZABDOSTCG for 5% off. They will have Brilliant Stars codes uh, like uh, in about three weeks, so definitely check them out. Keep refreshing the website. For now, you can get promo codes as well as uh, Fusion Strike stuff, which is still very good because Movie Max is still gonna be the best deck in the format. There's also cardsmarket.com for European players. You can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day to buy and sell cards. So use the referral name ZabdoSTG. Last but not least, yourplaymat.com gets you covered. If you are interested to create your own unique custom playmat, you can create a playmat today, get 10% off by clicking the link down below. So definitely do so if you're interested in uh, yeah, creating your own custom playmat. And of course, uh, they ship worldwide. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic day. Try out the rice of roasting Salazzle, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Pokemon TCG epicness. Peace.